there's a point in the book you, you mention um, you, you get to a scene where five are dead mm-hmm. and nine are injured. Uh-huh. What's going through your head? You're seeing lifeless bodies. Yeah. What is, what is going through your head? I mean, we had no idea what we were going to. And this is going back to your original question, sort of, um, you know, what, what, what kept you awake at night? It was, right. th- it was this day, right? It was this day, it was this moment. It was dealing with the dead. Um, it was just that constant threat. It was just a, a huge and traumatic event. Um, we had no idea what we were going to. We just got over the radio, look, get here quick, get here quick, people are dying. That's all we heard over the radio. Um, and, uh, and I was like, where are you? We're here. And I'm like, I'm five minutes away. So I get there, there's a couple of guys on the roof um, and they're firing out. Um, uh, uh, so there's a, 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 a bit of a scrap going on. It wasn't, it wasn't intense gunfire, but there was still some firing going on. So I stopped short, um, uh, sort of fan my guys out into, into some form of all-round defense. And then I grabbed my medic, my medic, a, a Ghanaian, Manny. Um, Manny. Manny Ansa, mm-hmm. so he's a, he's a Ghanaian Commonwealth soldier fighting in the British Army. Right. Um, grabbed him and just ran over this open ground into this compound. And there's this guy, he's been shot seven times. He's alive, mm-hmm. but he's just lying in the middle of the, of the courtyard. He's been shot seven times. Um, once through the face, once through the eye, it took his eye out. Once through both, both arms, they were up like this. And then five, um, five gunshot wounds to his, his legs. Manny and I were working on him. We tourniqueted up his legs because he, he was just bleeding, just bleeding out. He wouldn't have lived for very much longer. And then I left Manny with this guy and I come around the corner. So where is everybody? You know, this is supposed to be a busy police station. There's nobody here mm-hmm. except for the two guys on the roof and this guy. Mm-hmm. I go around the corner and that's where they all are. And they're all dead mm-hmm. or dying. Dead or dying. And there's, as I say, there's, there's five guys who are, who are there um, there's a pile of three bodies um, uh, on top of each other, and then there's two guys um, who, who are still alive, but not, not for very much longer, unfortunately. And um, Manny comes around the corner, and uh, and he's just like that dumbstruck. Mm-hmm. I just grab him, and just go look. These guys are dead. Go and work on him, and just throw him at him. Hmm. Um, and as he's working on him, he sees at the bottom of this pile of bodies sees that someone's still moving mm. and I had to sort of get to this guy from underneath the bodies and mm. that's, that's what kept me awake just mm. getting, getting to this guy how many years of therapy um, I mean I, I tried to go back to work so I tried to go when, when I um, when I when I came back from Afghanistan and I recovered from my own injuries because two weeks after this incident I was sh- I was shot in the chest myself and obviously returned home very, very seriously wounded. Um, once I recovered from, from, uh, from my physical injuries, um, enough to sort of get back to work, I, I tried to go back to work as a soldier. Mm-hmm. Obviously it wasn't front line anymore, but I tried to go back as an instructor, uh, an infantry instructor. Uh, and just something wasn't right. Mm. Um, I was batting on, but obviously you knew my wife knew there was something not right. My friends knew there was something not right, and sort of said, "Look, you've got to, you've got to go and get some, go and get, go and get some support." And so I would say, you know, I was seeing somebody from sort of 2010, um, for maybe, maybe two, two and a half years. Wow. And then, again, sort of had a relapse in in sort of 2015. So for another sort of six month block down as well. 